to you, bud. Johnny, how are you? Good to see you. Now, that microphone there, we're aiming for. Uh, okay. Um, you were, the last time you were in, you were in with Ben Glover and... Melogen. Melogen. And you all yeah. went on a, like a, a three-handed tour. That's right. How that's did right. that go? It was fantastic. And believe it or not, that's actually a year ago. It's um, not, is it? Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. We did uh, we did most of the north. We covered it and then jumped over to Holland, did about six or seven gigs there. And it was cool. It was just, you know, we we're, were sort of helping each other out and, and, you know, picking our best songs each night and the cracking stage was good. So, right. yeah, it was good fun. And um, you're only back from Denmark as well? Just back from Denmark and that uh, the country to country over in London, which is uh, something you'd have to experience yourself. Uh, kind of really started to describe I, that. I thought it was a real hokey wee thing and then I saw videos of it and went... Whoa! It looks <laughs> yeah. like live aid, you know. <laughs> we were we were playing like I mean, you know, you get a festival gig and you're sort of thinking, you know, it's a Saturday morning of twelve o'clock. Yeah. Nobody's going to be here. Queued out the door, fifteen hundred people in on a Saturday morning to see. You know, it's, yeah. it's mental. The fans are just, you know, they they go over yeah. and beyond. Uh, for you know? for people who poo poo country music and anything with country in it, just check it out yeah. on uh, Google or YouTube. Yeah. Just see see what it is. <laughs> One of the biggest music events in the world, really, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like that whole O2 area, there's about five or six different venues and every one of them packed all day, you know? So, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it's taken and, uh, I was asking Ben Glover as well. I mean, you've sort of casually, you know, mentioned, I, I played in Denmark, played in Holland and all. How do our local songwriters get gigs abroad? Yeah, it's tough because, you know, it's at the start, like, you're sort of a wee bit disconnected. But, you know, it's the same as anything. You sort of go in, do a job, and uh, you try and do it as well as you can. Hopefully, you know, whether it's a promoter or a fan base, you know, you're sort of, you're, the, the word slowly spreads. We don't have the machines or these big labels and stuff, so we just have to, you know, pick our battles bit by bit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, even the likes of the Northern Lights Tour last year, did a few dates in in, uh, in Holland, and the next thing that promoter's got himself maybe in a, in a few dates in Germany, and yeah, and at, at the end of next month and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a and of course when it grows organically like that, the people at the gigs will be fans. Then yeah, it's not as if you're being thrown in front of an audience who have never heard you, have no notion of what you do, you know. Yeah, and thankfully those those people are sort of it's in the same way as the clubs we have here, the Real Music Club, and uh, you know the the small festivals, and that people are going, and even the New York Star Festival that that were sort of. Uh, playing at the end of that's next month, people are trust those promoters that that the stuff they've on is quality. So it's, yeah. it it helps us when we go to a foreign place that people don't really know us, but they know that they can trust. You know that it's going to be a good night. Yeah, I was asking you if you had a real job. You've, <laughs> you've got a couple of kids, so you don't need a job, <laughs> and they're young. But no, uh, the reason I ask you that, I shook your hand. You've, you've some grip. You've a workman's <laughs> hand on you. You know. Do you know what I still? Did you ever work on a farm or anything? No. I will tell you the truth. You see, this day, this time tomorrow, yeah. I'm going to be on the coal run. Aye. Yeah, I still uh, it's been in the family for for a long time, and I still do it. Uh, and it's around about the morns and stuff, and uh, it's just really a way to get my head shard. No, I shook my hand. I was <laughs> counting my fingers. I said, "I think it's about three of these are broke." I was like, ah. <laughs> well, "That's why I ask you if you had another job, you know." Yeah. Oh, I would have to. Are you qualified to do anything if you're not a musician? Apart from the coal run. Yeah, I don't know, but um, personally, so yeah, if they outlawed really. music in the morning. You'd be like me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, is there any jobs going here? Is there? No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, you know, so you're not handy at all. You're not a like a, a, a secret portrait artist or you know a rocket yeah. scientist or anything. No, no, no. I mean, I. I know maybe maybe start up a new religion or something like that there <laughs> uh, that's well, good i just uh, you know I, I like to see someone who has no safety net same as myself you yeah. know it's just you know that's it so the uh Ards international guitar festival uh what, what dates that happening i've been yeah, a bit of paper in front of me fifth and ninth of april yeah and uh there are some uh cracking acts i mean anthony toner's on it yeah. Uh, yourself, Ken Haddock, Gavin Ferris, uh, Wicca Lily, they were in as well. They're on it. Uh -huh. um, it it's Cormac Nason, that's Cormac from The Answer. That's right. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, that's going to be some crack. It really is. Well, the thing is, you know, some people would say, you know, a guitar festival is going to be a sort of a niche market. And you might not sort of recognize, you know, uh, some of the names if you're not really in that niche. But, but you know, they've sort of built up a strong reputation over the last lucky years that, you know, whatever you go and see... Well, listen, I read out four or five different names, and yeah. to my knowledge, that's four or five different kinds of music. Exactly. You well, know? I mean, whenever you, whenever you talk about the guitar, I mean, you could be talking anything sort of virtuosic to, you know, the likes of myself who just needs a guitar to get the message across. You yeah, know? and Cormac comes from, like, a, a rock background. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wooga Lily come from whatever planet they come from. Have you seen Wooga Lily? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're class. They're they really time. are unique, yeah. and they're brilliant. 
So, I mean, it's not as if, oh, it's all going to be singer-songwriters and we'll be bored before, after half an hour. I mean, it really is uh, very varied. Yeah, yeah. And even there, just looking, I mean, you've got the likes of uh, Ted Ponsonby from Donegal, who's he's one of the, the finest dubro players in the country. You know, he'll be on with Earl Walsh and, and, uh, and that, and they call it the weekend wind down. Our gig's actually sold out. Believe it or not, it's it's the 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 rumors um, that that we were doing like a whole tribute myself and a whole lot of ones to tribute to the Fleetwood Mac album rumors. Oh, brilliant! And it's actually sold out. Um, so, uh, but I mean, you know, there's so much other stuff. I mean, Ralph McLean, he's going to be doing a Jimi Hendrix brunch, talking about Jimi Hendrix and all that sort of stuff. You've got guitar clinics, so if you even play guitar and you want to, you know, learn about maybe making a guitars or or playing guitars, or whatever. There's workshops with Avalon talks with. George Loud and you know there's everything going. Yeah, because of, the, the, of course the guitars that are made here are world famous. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You know, it's, it's George Loud and um, between them and Avalon, you know, you've you've any sort of international person on the stage, you know, that's that's what they're playing. That's yeah. you know, anybody from Paul Brady to Tommy Emmanuel to any of those. You know, they're playing like Loud and guitars, which is good. It's good. Listen, um, what what date are you on? Are you only playing with the Fleetwood Mac thing? Or yeah, you I mean, I probably will be jumping into a few things uh, here and there, but uh, but yeah, the main one is the the Fleetwood Mac one, the the, the Saturday the eighth, and I'd say in the, I think the Queen's Hall. Uh, yeah, in the evening time. It's a lovely hall too. Yeah, it is lovely, and it's sold out. It's sold out. That's time. a big crowd. It's a big hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. But uh, Newton Irish must like their fleet of Mac. No? Good, good. So, listen, you're going to sing a song for us, I'll mate? give it a go, ah, yeah. Go ahead. Cool. Well, I never knew how running on empty could lead you where you needed to go. When all I had was time, it's a good thing you had money Or we never would have made it, I know We could be running lost life But we haven't started losing it yet I'm standing in your cross as you're firing like crazy But it's too hard to hit me up there Nothing's good when it's all you got and every lesson learned in war is the same What's the difference if we make it or not When I'm looking out for someone to blame So you better have the right name You better have the right name I was picking on a song I heard somewhere but I've been trying hard since to forget And if all the things I've done They follow me like that one I'm halfway in a pay in my debt We could be running a lost life But we haven't started losing it yet I'm standing in your cross And you're firing like crazy But it's too hard to hit me up here Nothing's good when it's all you got And every lesson learned in war is the same What's the difference if we make it or not When I'm looking out for someone to blame So you better have the right name Oh, you better have the right name And the devil were partners And I find myself back in the game But the terms of my deal are etched on my forehead And it looks like we're one and the same So you better have the right name Oh, you better have the right name
Good stuff, Matt. That's Cheers. brilliant. Listen, uh, good luck to you. So we'll uh, see you again when you're in. Any new albums or anything coming out? Just uh, out of the studio last month, trying to piece it all together. So uh, before the end of the summer, we'll have a look. It'll be okay. Out. Give us a shout, mate. Thanks, okay. Man. Thanks, Cheers. Matt.